Events and listeners are the mechanism to exchange data between data objects. Events are notices that an object broadcasts when something happens. The listeners are data objects that execute a callback function when notified that an event of interest has occurred. Events must be defined at the source data object. This is done by adding the following event definitions in the class definition. There will be a section called events. This is just the same as the section properties or methods. Inside this section, a list of event name will be listed. Here you can see there are two event names, create event and destroy event. The data object of this event source must trigger an event using the notify function. It is a method. The notify function will use the data object at the first input and then the event name in the form of character vector. You can have a optional data in the notify function so that it can be received at the listener. In order to receive and process the event, you must register a callback function with the event in the destination data object. In the constructor of the destination data object, you use the function app listener to register the callback function. The function takes the first input as the data object and the second input as the event name and the third input as a handle to the callback function, which is also the method in the destination data object.